Should I lay like this? Just kidding. I would absolutely not. <laughs> Do you ever look in the mirror and you're just like, it's been better. Like I have seen better days because that is just how I've been feeling recently. I don't know if it's that we've gone through a few months of winter and we haven't seen the sun in a while or just being a mom. Like I don't have as much time. I don't know what it is, but I just feel like maybe it's time to do a mom glow up. I have a couple things planned over the next 24 hours or so and I'm going to surprise Gabe and really myself. I'm gonna surprise myself and I'm gonna feel so good. I'm pampering myself for our date night. That's when everything is gonna wrap up. I'm gonna put on a nice dress do my hair and makeup. So this morning I started with a lash tint and a brow wax. I just got my eyebrows waxed. You can definitely tell. I always get pink whenever I get my eyebrows waxed. And I also got a lash lift and I feel like it looks so nice. I stopped getting eyelash extensions in January and I've been using an eyelash serum trying to grow them out and they look good. They're definitely growing. Now I'm at Target. I drove here because I want to get some waxing supplies. I want to try waxing my legs. I've never done it before but looking in the camera now I'm like oh, do I really want to go in with this pink stripe on my head? I mean, I drove here. It'd be silly not to go in. I don't know why I'm, I'm overthinking it because if I saw someone that looked like this, I would be like, oh, she just got her eyebrows done. And that's what I look like too when I get mine done. So I'm sure it's fine. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get some waxing supplies. I'll try and wax my legs. That's gonna be painful. This was a little painful. I always try not to make a big deal out of it when they're doing it. My, my hack is that I pinch my fingers. So I'm redirecting the pain. I don't know if that even is accurate. That's what I've done for years. I'll like poke really hard my finger. So I'm like thinking about that pain. Anyway, I'm gonna go in with this pink stripe. Should I wear sunglasses? No, that would be so silly. I did bring them just in case, but that would be even more silly. Also, that doesn't even cover my eyebrows. All right, I'm going in like this. Show you what i ended up getting at target because i definitely was only going in for wax strips i did indeed get the wax strips flamingo body wax kit these just looked really nice compared to the others and it also says free of artificial dyes or fragrances so i'm gonna give this a go that's gonna be me i think my legs let me even feel my legs haven't seen the sun i mean yeah they're a little hairy <laughs> I then got a facial razor, which is dermaplaning. I've had a facial once before where they have like professionally done this and my makeup went on so nicely. Like it did wonders for my skin and for my makeup. So I saw this, I'm going to attempt to do it myself. So we'll see how that goes. I then got this body cream by Way. It just looks delicious. Let's have a whiff. Oh my gosh. That's a bit aggressive. Oh, that's quite nice. My skin is dry from winter. Oh, that's really nice. That's exactly what I needed. I wanted to get a body cream, like a body lotion that wasn't like super thick and sticky. That is literally perfect. Also, all of this was in like the Ulta section of Target. That section is the best. That was such a great move on Target's part. Target, if you're watching, great job. I got a new makeup brush for my like eyebrow powder. This is the cleanser I've been using, Tula the Cult Classic. This was just like a mini version. I thought that would be great for travel. And then the last two things I got are makeup. This is the L'Oreal True Match Nude Hyaluronic Tinted Serum. I think this is what my sister was like raving about. So I wanna give that a go. And then this is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter, which I think is meant to be a dupe for Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter, which I haven't tried, but I'm I'm gonna give this a go. So that's exciting. Gabe and Makaira upstairs having a date. It was raining outside, so they couldn't go like to a park or anything. So he did a little setup upstairs. So I don't know how long I'm gonna have, but I'm gonna try to do this right now. I have no idea. I mean, I've seen videos, so I, I guess I can like guess how to do it. Grow your hair between two to six millimeters long. Gently exfoliate a day or two before waxing. I did not do that. Wait, 24, okay, I'm not waiting 24 hours. Prepare for some pain. Waxing hurts, but it shouldn't feel like anything you can't breathe through. Reading this literally just made me more worried. <laughs> I can do this. It's a mindset. I literally gave birth. Like, I can do this. How funny. That is not enough. 
to do all my legs. This might give you guys the ick. Like, you might cringe watching this. I don't know why I thought I could do this by myself. I should have paid someone to do it because then I like have an appointment, I can't back out. This is gonna hurt. I need to start talking life. Speak life. I don't know where to start. Do I just pick a random spot? I'm just gonna shave. No, I have to do this. It's on, it's on my skin. Yep, all right, it's on. It's on my skin. Okay, this is gonna hurt. How long do I leave it there for? Okay, I'm gonna get this post wax cloth ready just in case it is so painful oh my gosh i'm so stupid <laughs> why can't i do this i'm sweating i'm actually sweating <sighs> okay i did it it literally didn't do anything literally there's still hair all over my leg it's like sticky okay i have done this wrong i'm gonna have to shave <laughs> I'll try one more. I'll try one more. One, two, three. Okay, what the? I bet I'm not doing it hard enough or something. It literally only took off like that much, like a tiny, tiny patch. I'm gonna have to revisit this later, probably when Makaya's asleep or shave. <laughs> Makaya is down for a little nap and I thought while she's sleeping, I'm going to do my nails. A week or two ago, I went to a nail, nail salon and I got my dip powder taken off and I just asked for regular polish on top of it. One, I forget how much it doesn't last, just regular polish. It hasn't been too bad, but the main thing is that I also forgot how easily my nails chip. They're like not very weak. They're pretty strong. I have a couple nails even before I got dip that would always just chip. You can see this one compared to the rest has just chipped and this one would always do that. Instead of going back to the nail salon and getting dip again, I thought let's just try my tried and true Impress press on nails. If you have followed me for a while, you'd know that I did a collection with them. I used to wear these all the time and I need to get back into it because how convenient. So I'm gonna do that. I need to take off this nail polish and then file down my nails, but they have like a little filer. You won't believe it. I got my period today. <laughs> it is my first period post baby. So my first period really since October of 2021. So it's been a while. I was like pretty excited. I literally audibly gasped when I went to the toilet. I went, because oh! I was so shocked to see blood. I was just, I don't know. I've just been used to the no period life for so long now. So I have felt pretty just flat and dead today, but the pain actually hasn't been too bad. Not to be TMI, but it's like pretty light compared to my pre-pregnancy periods. They were always like really bad so we'll see if this stays or if it gets worse i'm going to sit here and redo my nails i'll show you the finished product it is almost nine o'clock and that is my ideal bedtime these days if i can get in bed at nine o'clock read my book for an hour and be asleep by 10 that is perfect if I can even be asleep before 10 o'clock wow my life now is just wanting to be in bed early i'm gonna have my little pamper session so i'm going to exfoliate in the shower shave because my waxing went so horribly yesterday it was actually red my leg was red and like bumpy and i don't know i definitely did it wrong then i will tan i got i don't know if i mentioned this i got this teeth whitening kit on amazon it was very affordable that makes me a little nervous that it might not be very good but the reviews were really good i'm gonna try that I think I'm gonna try this too. It like removes all the little hairs on your face. It has been cold, gloomy, and rainy here in Nashville. And I think a tan will just make me feel really put together for our date. Rah, rah, rah. I'm gonna do my pampa night, pampa sesh. This is the after of the nails, by the way. Makai woke up, so I didn't get to show you, but they look so good. It reminded me of just how good they are, but I really like this color. I think it's like a really flattering nude color. Okay, I'm gonna shower. Here I go. I hope I'm doing this right. Oh my gosh, why is this nail wracking? Okay. <laughs> I did like the littlest bit. I'm doing it so light because I don't want to hurt myself. Oh yeah, I can definitely feel that. I mean, I feel like my face isn't that hairy. It said it like removes dead skin. Oh yeah, that is definitely working. Cool. I don't know if it's just in my head, but I think I can tell the difference with just the first application of the teeth whitener. So I'm gonna keep using it. I'll see how I go. 
I am running right now to my hair appointment. The last thing of the day before I get ready and officially glow up and surprise Gabriel. I need to leave right now so I make it on time. I honestly still haven't decided what I will do, so you'll need to stay tuned. It most likely won't look much different, but we'll see. We'll see what happens once I'm in the chair. You never know. It's also gonna be warm today. I'm wearing a t-shirt. I don't know the last time I wore a t-shirt in Nashville, so that's a win too. Okay, I'm gonna go to my hair appointment. I'll see you soon. I'm all done. I'm back home. She was amazing. I had such a nice time. We watched a Netflix documentary while I was getting my hair done. She cut it and then basically just added a little bit of dimension. Like it's very subtle. I don't even know like how clearly you'll be able to tell in this lighting, but it's just kind of like lighter brown bits just to add some dimension. So it'll be interesting to see if Gabe notices a difference because I don't know. It's like still all brown but i'm super happy with it it's so nice like moving to a new place and like finding your person like i'm definitely going back to her anyway now i'm all ready to get ready do my makeup and put on my outfits and surprise gabe gabe is out of the house at the moment i might even set up the date we are having the date here at home once makara is asleep i think we're going to do this mystery like game that gabe got me it's kind of like a board game but you like solve a case and i've been wanting to do it so i think that's what we're gonna do tonight but i want to like set it up and you know get in my outfit i was thinking of wearing a dress which i'll get to that afterwards the like skims dress i have i haven't worn it before i'm gonna do my makeup i am really happy with my hair in the viewfinder it still just looks the same brown but it's like just a very subtle dimension uh just before i turned the camera on i was watching slash listening to the good guys podcast it's with josh peck and they had hillary duff on and i just love her but i've also just been really interested in hearing like child stars talk about their life and their experience because i recently listened to i'm glad my mom died on audible which is jeanette McCurdy, her audiobook, which was so good. And then I listened to a podcast of Cole Sprouse. It's just really interesting hearing their stories. And so listening to Hilary Duff right now, but she's just a gem. I just love her. It was funny this morning. I told Gabe that I was going to a haircut. I didn't say anything else, mostly because I didn't know what I was doing. Like I didn't know if I was going to change my hair at all because he doesn't know this like glow up video that I've been filming. And he goes, ooh, look at you going to the appointments because I also like just got my lashes done. It's funny that he said something. This is the Rare Beauty bronzing stick. I just love Rare Beauty. I don't think there's a product of theirs that I have not liked. I like every single thing that they come out with. During my hair appointment I started she has like a TV that has Netflix and Hulu and stuff and I started to watch Murdoch Murders or Mur Murdoch I don't know how to pronounce the last name I've heard so many people talk about it so I'm sure you have also watched it it's crazy watching something like that and realizing that it's real and like I don't know I, I think I like a lot of true crime because the stories are just I don't know, I, I just find it so interesting, but it's really hard for me to to like picture that it's real, that like this is real life. Let me know if you guys have seen that series on Netflix and what you thought. I made it through two and a half out of the three episodes, so I still need to finish it. Oh my gosh, it was like pretty heavy. This setting powder is also Rare Beauty. I literally, this the foundation I used was Rare Beauty. Majority of my makeup that I do is always with Rare Beauty. Wow, I feel terrible. Share joy for This isn't my best charcuterie board. I really didn't plan this very well. We didn't have much to put together, but just a couple little snacks and then I'm gonna have these drinks, Olipop, the best. Just up there, ready for when he gets home. Gabe isn't on his way home yet, but he should be home relatively soon. So I'm gonna set this up and then figure out my outfit. Even though we're just going upstairs, I just want 
you know, I want it to be like a full glow up. So I think I'm going to try on the Skims dress. Okay, I'll show you the dress. This Skims dress, it is so soft and just nice and simple. The only thing is, is I know it's going to like stick to my skin since I got my period yesterday. I'm feeling a little bloated and I feel like this wouldn't be my choice if I'm feeling bloated. Let's try it on though because I've never worn it before. Okay, this is the dress. It's so comfy actually, like I would happily stay in this all night. It is funny though, if I flip my hair back, you can see my nursing bra, which is just not subtle at all. But if my hair is here, you can't tell. I think I'll just put this really pretty dainty cross on. This is from Jazz Handmade. My hoops are also from Jazz Handmade. Jazz, the girl who created this brand, is the girl who did my makeup for my wedding, which is crazy. And she has just done so well, and all of her pieces are just so nice, really great quality. I do have a code with them too. I'll leave it down below. I believe it's Love Jess for 10% off. I guess I'm ready for my date. Let's see if he's driving home. This is really the main reason why I have this location, to see if he's driving home. This was really the little refresh that I needed. I feel really nice and pampered. Sometimes a little pamper day is just really makes you feel good. I feel fresh. My hair feels great and lighter. My last step is some perfume. This is the matcha. You can get it at Urban Outfitters. This is probably my favorite perfume. It is just, it smells so clean. I had this a couple years ago and then Gabe got it for me again um, for Christmas. It is just so nice. I have been thinking about trying like a clean, non-toxic perfume. If you know one that smells really good. I like, yeah, clean scents or like florally scents. Let me know. All right, this is the setup. I'm so excited to try this. I really hope it's good. Okay, he's home. So I'm just gonna leave this rolling and hopefully he comes straight up and finds me. Should I do it like this? Just kidding, I would absolutely not. <laughs> Happy day, oh, I'm just gonna say, let's solve a mystery. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? What? Can I just start eating this right now? <laughs> it's not my best record. Dude, before. are you kidding me? Let's go. I'm about to down this whole thing. I need the calories. Daddy's trying to get jacked right now. Do I look any different? Mm, your hair looks really nice. Do you get highlights in? Uh, really, really subtle. It's like. Yeah, that looks so good. <gasps> wow. Thank you. And it's a little shorter. I don't know if you can tell. You look really pretty. That looks really good. You make me want to get highlights. Mm. Ready? Yeah, cute. And you have your eyelashes tinted. You're just looking freaking cute. Nice little fake tan on. Thank you. It's real. Glow up. Yeah, I glowed up for you. Cute. Well, for me. For you. And for you. We're gonna go enjoy our date night. Hope you guys have a lovely day. Toodles.